He is the Spider-Man of the future. Let's find out who is Spider-Man 2099. His name is Miguel O'Hara. Miguel is from Earth 928 in the Marvel Universe. As an adult, Miguel was employed by the company Alchemax. He was the project lead of Alchemax's genetics program. He worked in conjunction with another man named Aaron Delgado. The duo didn't get along well. They were researching the viability of splicing animal DNA with the humans. His current research was inspired by Spider-Man one of the premier heroes from the heroic age a hundred years earlier. Their boss Tyler Stone was becoming impatient with their research and wanted to see results. Without consulting Miguel, Stone had a convicted criminal who had volunteered to be a test subject in return for some time being taken off his sentence delivered to their lab. Miguel protested, letting Stone know they were nowhere near ready for human testing, but he caved to the pressure and began the first human trial. O'Hara tried to keep it simple and just ran a procedure that in theory would just give the subject augmented strength. At the conclusion of the test, they opened the transformation chamber to find the test subject had been mutated into a hideous freak. The test subject easily broke free from his restraints and went after O'Hara, but suddenly died as he did. O'Hara was appalled by what had just happened, but the boss, Tyler Stone, considered it a success the subject did gain augmented strength. A short time later, O'Hara went to Stone's office to inform him he was quitting because he refused to be a party to any more human testing. As Stone tried to persuade him to rethink his decision and stay on board, he offered O'Hara a drink. O'Hara didn't know the drink was laced with the ultra-addictive drug, Rapture. The drug was so addictive, it addicted a person as soon as it entered their system. Stone used it to control certain employees since Alchemax was the only authorized distributor of the drug. He then sent the drugged O'Hara home, knowing he now had the upper hand. But later that evening, O'Hara snuck back in to Alchemax. He was planning to use a previous copy of his genetic code to overwrite his current Rapture addicted code. What Miguel didn't realize was that Aaron Delgado had been secretly observing him. As Miguel entered the transformation chamber and began the process of overriding his genetic code, Aaron sabotaged the process. He initiated the spider DNA splicing procedure and pumped up the level of every piece of the equipment, hoping that it would kill O'Hara. This caused the transformation chamber to explode, but O'Hara survived. When Aaron saw that Miguel now had fangs and talons, he freaked out and tried to shoot him. As he fired wildly at Miguel, he hit a flammable tank, causing an explosion. Aaron was blown out of the building, and Miguel tried to save him, but his claws caused Aaron to squirm and fall to his death. Security showed up, and O'Hara fled. It was just by chance a member of the Church of Thor was passing by on a sky kite. O'Hara used him as an escape. The church member mistook Miguel for being the hero Spider-Man. They landed a bit rough and the sky kite was wrecked. The Thor church member gave Miguel some of the material from the sky kite to mask his face since Spider-Man should keep his identity secret. Miguel then made it home safely. The next morning, Tyler Stone brought in the cyborg bounty hunter Venture to find out what had happened and to track down whoever the late night intruder was. Miguel was at home on his balcony when his newly heightened senses detected Venture heading his way. He grabbed a death's head costume made of unstable molecules which he had bought for the Day of the Dead festival and attached the material from the sky kite to the back of it. He went and battled Venture to keep him from discovering his identity. Ultimately, he defeated Venture and was now Spider-Man 2099. Spider-Man 2099 has superhuman strength, durability, stamina, reflexes, and agility. He has enhanced vision, night vision, and a healing factor. His fangs can secrete a paralyzing venom and the retractable talons on his fingertips and toes allow him to scale surfaces like a spider. He can shoot organic webbing from the spinnerets in his forearms. 
You realize the need for a Spider-Man in this age and begin fighting crime. Spider-Man 2099 has gone on to face criminals like the Vulture, Hobgoblin, Scorpion, and a long list of others. He has also met and teamed with Peter Parker, Spider-Man, from Earth 616. Well, that's the origin of Spider-Man 2099, and that's a wrap for today's video. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm gone. Peace.